So we wish uh, Robin an enjoyable time there in the ring. This is it's a wonderful occasion you know, to get the opportunity to judge in this main ring is really wonderful for any judge. So Robin will be very pleased. And the here's what we're looking at coming into the ring now. It's uh, the Bull Mastiff, the bull. Optimus Dafid. Um, he, he won at the Vale of Glamorgan and uh, he's come from a famous kennel followed the by Siberian. the Siberian yeah. and then the uh, bearded collie and the border collie there's the Briard coming forward I always expect to see them in black you know Briards but they come in all sorts of shapes there we go and there's the German Shepherd followed in by the Rhodesian Ridgeback the sole utility breed the standard poodle and the standard poodle. And from the toy group, the Chinese. There's the little Chinese crested winning for Scunthorpe. Coming in towards the end, which is good, really, isn't it? Because the, the others move much quicker. And, it's the only and there's the pointer. Pointer from Leicester City Canines What's Association. Of and that's the last of our, our ten. So Robin Newhouse, uh, you know the form, you know exactly what happens in these competitions. The judge will inspect each dog individually. He'll get his hands on them, he'll get them to move. He's taking, first of all, a nice, long, leisured walk along, familiarising himself with the animals that he's going to be judging. And, and racking his brain, no doubt, saying, now what do I know best about? Oh, yes, I are. Ah, now I saw a wonderful one of these. Is this better than that? All sorts of things will be going through his head. I should think it's fun, isn't it, Frank? And, and this is the important because you're taking the general outline of the dog to see the balance and shape of the dog. That's often the first indication of good breed type. And now the first one is coming forward. Yes, this is the, the bull mastiff. Daffid is called. Must come from Wales. He does. Mid, mid Glamorgan, actually. Optimus Daffid, Junior Warrant. And this is a young dog, as we've said, one year, ten months old now, and qualified to get into this competition by winning at the Vale of Glamorgan Agricultural Society show. And the judge there was Mrs. Uh, Ray Parry. The handler in the ring there is uh, Peter Myers, uh, one of the joint owners, Peter Myers and Deborah and Morgan. And uh, he has a very successful kennel in, in Merseyside, had a lot of champions. The Bull Mastiff from the working group was originally a, po uh, a gamekeeper's dog to ward off the poachers. They have to be strong but athletic. One of the bull breeds, so which means he's got bulldog blood in him. Well, he'd certainly ward me off if I was thinking of poaching, I must say. And a, and a nice, light, athletic movement for a big dog. A wonderful temperament. The breed has wonderful nature. And this, this one's known as Baby David at, uh, at home. This is a great big bundle of fun, they say. Usually a good but gentle giant but uh, quite naughty as well, which is lovely, really. He's eaten an iPad. Is that can class as being naughty? I suppose it does, really. Uh, now the judge going over the Siberian Husky, Red Hot Lover, Legend of the Spirit. This is an import from Poland, uh, two, year, two and a half years old now, and he won at Kingston Canine Society. Now this, the speedy sled dog, this is the speediest of the sled dogs probably the lightest on its feet as well isn't and, it and absolutely fit for function they have to this double coat to protect them against the severity of the climate furred inside the ears and this tail they have to be quite high on the leg they have to be cloddy or thick set they have to have a degree of elegance and fit for function at all times and Red Hot Lover being his name. It's good for a laugh any time, isn't it? A name like that. Splendid. James Rogerson handling there in uh, the, at Discover Dogs. And the breeder is Isabella Krieger. And uh, this animal lives in Suffolk. Now, now, Robin, looking at the bearded collie, it's Potterdale Platinum Star. We've just seen a Potterdale in the Champions competition. Here's another success from that, this kennel, bred by ja Janet Lewis. Here we have this very nice bitch, two and, two and a half years old now, one is Alfreton. And we had a best in show, didn't we? Uh, Potterdale Classic at Moonhill, Brenda White's dog back in the 1990s. That's right. 
It's proud mum Janet. Who's and hand this uh, this bitch, two years, six months old, and one through to the competition from the Alfreton and District Canine Society. Dorothy Park was the judge that put this one through, and uh, Janet Lewis was handling. And enjoying the experience, trotting out very nicely, holding a good top line, very nice proportions for the breed. They're a rectangular shape. I gather from the owners that this is a real escape artist, can get out of the... <laughs> <laughs> from anywhere, yes. So these show dogs, they may, they may be show dogs at dog shows, but lead a normal, full life at home. This is a real escapologist. He can open doors as well. He's no fool, you know. Yeah. Tremendous jumping ability. So now... Lovely coat, the way it, uh, the bearded collie moves. And here we've got to another collie. This is the border collie. And uh, this is Faken I Am Love, junior warrant again. Of course, they all have junior warrants, so I won't keep on saying that. Tempt is the pet name of the dog, and the, or rather of the bitch in this case, one year, six months old. And again, this has a prestigious pedigree. It comes from a, a very good breeder, wonderful, wonderful lines, going back to one of the breed record holders. Uh, Ross Green is the breeder, and he's handling it here. Wonderful entry, almost 400 border collies here today. Yes, I mean, fantastic. Well, he hasn't had to compete against uh, them because he's here in the junior warrant, warrant competition. And, uh, and this one is already, I believe, she may already be a CC winner, which means she's on the way to becoming a champion. Certainly she's had a very good career at championship shows. So, uh, again, this might be well be a champion of the future for this fake end kennel. Wonderful. Yes, and uh, that, that low head carriage for the breed, stealthy action, so typical and desirable for breed type. And now we've got the Briard. I said when he came in, I always expect to see them in black because the very first Briards I ever saw were, but now they come in this lovely, it's a very, it's almost like a Wheaton colour, isn't it? It's a fawn, yes, a yes, fawn, nice, yes. Very nice indeed. Foster Bree Spartan, uh, known as Troy. Uh, two years, two months old now, and it's a dog, not a bitch. And this is a French pastoral breed, so uh, for herding sheep and cattle. And one of the breed peculiarities is that it has double dew claws on its hind legs and a, a crochet-type hook in its tail, little swirl at the bottom of its tail, breed features. And again, the coat is hard texture. It has to be weatherproof and hardy. And the dog has to be rustic, not overgroomed. Clean, fairly long head. Judge looking at the strong muzzle and eyes. And feeling that coat to get the texture, because it's a very different texture to what we saw from the bearded collie moving around. It flows just as nicely, doesn't it? His best friend is a Shih Tzu named George. Again, the Foster Bree Kennel has had a lot of champions. They live in South Yorkshire. The last of the Carol Foster and a partner. Finalist, this is the German Shepherd. Quite at home in the environment here. Indeed. And Robin Newhouse now getting his hands on the German Shepherd dog. This one's called Colin. Two years and one month old from Oxfordshire. And Anne Shaw is the owner, and uh, Claire Nocini is actually handling. And it's uh, Whittig at Gillingham and Shaftesbury. And we'll notice we saw a German Shepherd dog in the Champ Yukonuba Champions League. This is quite a different style of German Shepherd here, different type of top line, different leg length. So the, the type is mixed in the breed. Uh, the, the breed has lots of devotees of both the Germanic type and the English type we see here. Yes. And, and, and actually, this looks a very much lighter version of the, of the breed. So I mean, they do come in all sizes, really, don't they? they but strong, looks fit for purpose in every way. But I, I myself, of course, I'm a great devotee of that lovely uh, flat back rather than the Germanic one. So I like that. She went through Again. and eats at Stumble Steve Bardwell. Another fine dog here, the Rhodesian Ridgeback, Sere. She's a bitch, two years, two months old, and is called uh, Colkerin Face to the Sun. 
beautiful quality and lovely breed type here. Which they get the reddish, they get the name Ridgeback because they have a ridge of hair running in the opposite direction along the spine. And it was some, something in the native Zimbabwe, it said that the best ridges were the most courageous hunters. So there may be a bit of folklore in that, but there's this lovely quality. It's got substance, but also elegance and light on its feet. They were bred to track lions. They were, for the big game hunters, they would either track lions and force them into the guns or force them forward and hold them at bay until the guns came. All right. Well, the, the name Sere, incidentally, is in the language of Shona, which is a Southern African language, which exactly is what you're saying, uh, Frank. This is where the dog, uh, the breed, originates from. Rich fawn or wheat in colour, permissible in the breed. Very nice feminine head, but strong. It's very typical, full of quality. Unmistakable now, as we look at the standard poodle's head. This is Gordon, Vikmar's American Idol. Comes from the West Midlands, and the owner is called Lucky Tindal. And uh, the handler, Sharon Tyne Haynes, also bred the dog as well. Another dog that qualified from the Gillingham and Shaftesbury Show Society. Again, you can always rely on a poodle of any size to put on a good show. They just love showing off. They've got this elegance in their carriage. I always describe them uh, as one of the highly presented breeds because they, I mean, the coat has to be made like that. But it has, It's quite extraordinary. But it is, a, interestingly, it's a functional trim. Originally, the standard poodle in particular was a duck retriever and they used to clip the hind quarters of the dog to give it less drag when swimming. And this mane at front gives it buoyancy in the water. So it is a functional trim, not just fancy hairdressing for the show ring. No, exactly. And, and in this case, actually, the legs aren't trimmed in the way you were describing there. These are that sort of lamb cut, aren't they? Which, which is really a combination of the two different cuts they can present it, be presented with. I think they're spectacular. They really are. They're wonderful in the ring. Another one of the dogs that qualified as Stephen And now we have the Chinese crested, twice as nice, seven monkey fury. That's quite a name. It's an import from Sweden. Yes, it's called Loki for as pet name. He's two and a quarter years old and bred by Sarah Riznig in Sweden. Now owned by Donna Crow and Sanna and the breeder. Now, this is in a very interesting breed. We see this is a hairless, it's a, a natural mane of hair down the neck from the head and over the pastons and feet. The skin is quite hot to the touch. A very ancient breed, thought to have spiritual qualities in the early days in, the, in China. Great. Great show dog, very nice action in the. It's like a young pony, isn't it? And last of the ten, well, again, an unmistakable head, that shape of the pointer. This is Nessa, Desfrisa Flatini. Tamsin Baker is the owner, comes from Berkshire, and this dog uh, is two years old. This is. Uh, his birthday was the 21st of uh, November. Now here, the only gun dog in this lineup, the pointer, and she looks sadly a little bit overawed oh, by the, uh, yes, by the big ring atmosphere. She's not quite lashing her tail as she should. Just getting a bit of confidence there. The should be a series of flowing curves, the pointer. Looks like it has to look like a, a thoroughbred. The tail just getting there now. It, it took it a little bit of time to get used to the ring, I think. But, uh, actually, you and I, when we stepped on that ring yesterday, Frank, we, uh, we said it's a bit spiky. The, the texture of, of the yeah. artificial grass. Yeah. There she is. Just, really, just looking round a little bit. She should have a clean reaching action in front you see she's not quite carrying her tail showing a little bit of apprehensive yes sometimes the dogs don't show on the day not quite as well as they can but that's still a beautiful looking dog now we is the judges just sending them out and back just checking on the action in most breeds you'll want a parallel action the the 
legs coming like two vertical columns, not veering off the parallel line and driving from its hocks. Very important to have strong hocks and driving away. Same thing for the Siberian Husky. This Red hot as you say, similar thing. They all have different gates, so slightly, don't they? But it, yes. that line from the back, you don't want to see them crabbing. And uh, no, you want fir firmness from the hocks. Very important. And ju ju Robin, just looking at head and expression as they come back. There we go with the beardy now. This, this has gone very nicely in a very good temperament. The Potterdale, not only have they had good winners themselves, but they've sold good winners to other people to win. Yes, That's yeah. always the mark of a very good breeder. Yeah. Very nice. The Border Collie. Yeah. There are so many of these. I mean, you said there were nearly 500, no, 300 and something of them here today, uh, Frank. I mean, fantastic dogs. Yes. Incredibly popular these days, aren't I, they? I like this one very much. It's full of quite lovely size, very feminine, and again, that very good action with the low head carriage. Here's another pastoral breed, the Briard. Of the pastoral representative. Now, the Fawn. Now, Briard male. It's a that boisterous the, little dog, this one. said as that well. the coat should be like goat <laughs> hair, crisp to the touch, and that little crochet hook at the end of the tail. All breed points. The German Shepherd. And this is one where it's terribly important that the gate is seen clearly, and that looks quite nice. It's a strong top line. Using a Hoxwell. Again, just perhaps a little bit to overroad in the uh, in the big ring atmosphere. And here's the elegance and quality of this Rhodesian Ridgeback. Um, again, look at the tail carriage. She's very happy here. And you can see the ridge, the ridge running from the withers just behind the shoulders along the spine to the croup. That's a, the correct ridge for the breed. And the standard the poodle, standard poodle with uh, this fabulous, it's all, the back leg movement is always so lovely with the, with the poodles. And here's Sharon who's handling the dog, she's the breeder, she also has won the group at Crufts in past years with a standard poodle, which was one of the ancestors of this dog here. Oh really, yes. Twice as nice. And the little Chinese crested. Now very good dog i like this very much full of quality it's gone very well marvelous top line the tail carriage absolutely correct that mane of hair running down to the withers the plume and on its tail the gun dogs, the pointer. Desprisa, and finally the pointer as i said this this big <laughs> ring atmosphere with all the lights and all the people is a real test and many of them are young well, they're all fairly young yeah. for this, aren't they? Because it's uh, the junior warrant. So but uh, the, this one is uh, just a uh, fraction over two years old. Now, the boards have come out, so Robin, I think, has made his uh, decision he, because he calls for the boards when he's ready. don't think he wants to see any more, so now he's going to pick his winner. The winner of the junior the warrant final 2018. The winner of the Kennel Club now, Junior well, Warrants competition. The handshake, is, the handshake is going, is going to the Bull Massive. Over to the Bull Massive, yes. David. From Mid Glamorgan. The oh. Chinese Crested. Yes, you yes. said you liked it, Frank. Yes. Congratulations. Well done to those other so we Eight have the winner, the Optimus Duffy, the bred in Merseyside by Pete Myers from the Optimus the Kennel. And then Captain twice as nice, the Seven Bandit. Monkey Fury. There's our master, our winner. And we see that uh, Duffy here, although he's a young dog, he's already a champion. He's won his three CCs. So I said, stars of the future, this is already on the way with a title. Yes, so, a really big career for him. That's a terrific are. head, and that's a wonderful shot of it. Oh, Strong yes, head, he deserves the treat. And they're going to do their lap of honor, so David leading the way, Loki following on. Our winner and runner-up in the Junior Warrant 
final competition 2017. I know we're in 2018 now, this is the end of the competition that ran through last year. Thank you so much as I hand over now to Kim Silito.